Well, it's our, our Friday fix of funny with our favorite girl, Radhika Vaz, the rebel in disguise who swings by. And trust you've had a spectacular week. I've had a spectacular week. I have. I, I feel like I'm not even covering up the rebel anymore, Erica. Really? I feel like I've, I'm letting it out there. I'm letting it hang out. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's all a great way to be. Right? Let it all just yeah, hang let out. Yeah, let it, let it hang out. Yeah. To all the rebels out there yeah. who may or may not be listening to us. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I have to talk about this. I mean, I just heard from Ekta, our producer, the whole dating game is just changing. It's incredible. Listen, uh, since what? Since 1942 when we were in it? Yes, <laughs> I've heard it has. Tell me, what have I'm, you heard, no, Erica? Don't, don't give it all away. <laughs> Come on. Here's me thinking I'm like hot and new We can still think it. Yes, we can still course. think it. There are no rules. You can't be arrested for what you think, we right? Can't yeah, we can't act it. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't act it. Yeah, so Tinder apparently is just changing it all for everybody. Yeah, because it's not really dating on Tinder, right? Like Tinder is more, more like, like the hookup. It's a hookup situation. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about hookups on oh, radio? Yeah, we are allowed to yeah, talk about hookups. Hook hookups, hookups right? Yeah, it's, it's a hookup. It's like when there is no um, interest beyond the hookup, if you know what I mean. You obviously know a lot about Tinder. I do. I have a, quite a few friends who are on it. Yes, yeah, that's what they all say. They, they, this <laughs> is their all, you know, it's, everybody's getting divorced now. They're done with their first marriage. Mm. You know, everyone should be married at least one time. I mean, I think it's a good learning experience. So when it you get is. out of that situation, mm. the first thing you do, this is the way you get over a broken marriage or any kind of broken relationship is you... you get a you case of Tinderitis. Get a little Tinderitis. <laughs> So I have a couple of friends who literally his his divorce. It's not even like the ink is not even dry on that piece of paper, and boy is back on Tinder. That's just the way really? it is. Really? Yeah. Wow! Amazing. It is amazing. It's quite kind of scary. I mean, also if you look at the whole Ashley Madison bit, right? Well, the Ashley Madison thing's a whole different story because Tinder is technically only for single people. Yeah. Ashley Madison's a whole different situation. That's for us married people, for us sneaky, dirty married people. Can you believe this? I mean, the site was basically saying that they were erasing everyone's data and all these married guys were like, I'm going to get some on the side. Yeah. And they got nothing. Yeah. They got nothing. So they've all got caught for doing nothing. This and is now, the best apparently part. the database that was released on the dark net, yeah. it has your latitude and longitude as well. So, so there's no Everybody knows away. where you are, man. Everybody <laughs> knows where the creeps are. <laughs> I love Creep it. Central. I love it. I Creep love that Central. Ashley Madison. Oh, and everyone's like, yeah, I, I love that it got busted. And everyone's like, oh my God, I can't believe all these government people are on it. Are you kidding me? They're the worst. We know that. Like, why is it surprising that people who work for the government are on Ashley Madison? Of course they're on Ashley Madison. And the guy who owns it is happily married with uh, with two kids. I don't know if he's happily married, but he's married with also two kids. Also, his wife says because she's marketing Ashley Madison for him. They're out of their minds. These people are sick o's. Sickos. Whatever. Uh, it's a crazy world. It We're is. right back. I've got to play some music. Let's do uh, it. We've got Ed Sheeran coming up and, you know, word has it that he actually scored Nicole Scherzinger through pizza. Did you, did you know that? No, I didn't know that. But I'll tell you something. The only time a rich young man can get an older sexy woman on pizza is when he's rich. <laughs> it's only fun to do like down market shit when you have the money to do the up market yeah, stuff. If the cool. guy could only afford pizza, like if that was his limit, Nicole, she, she wouldn't go near him. <laughs> Don't just sit there. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs>